Hey everyone, this is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com and I'm here with the ASUS G51VX Gaming Notebook. Uh, it's a budget gaming notebook from the ASUS Republic of Gaming of uh, Gamers series and I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and let people know a little bit about the system. Here's the box. Nice, thin. It's a laptop box. I've seen those before. Uh, before we get to that, I wanted to check out this bag that came with it. Uh, usually a Zeus and some sort of messenger bag with their laptops. In this case, it's a pretty snazzy looking backpack. It's got some uh, scuba type material here, some Cordura or Ripstop, something or other. It's an ASUS logo right there, it might be hard to see. This is the Republic of Gamers logo. Opens up, it's nice. It's a backpack. Not bad since it's free with the system. And onto the computer itself. Pop this open. Pretty basic packaging. Seuss doesn't uh, go too crazy with this stuff. Let's pull it out. And uh, in the box. Okay, the box is empty. Let's go through it piece by piece. It's a battery. It's a pretty small lithium ion battery. 11.1 uh, .1 volt, 4800 milliamps, uh, 53 watt hours. Yep, not too big. This is the cable for the outlet adapter. Here's the uh, AC adapter itself. It's actually on the large side, seeing how uh, small these have gotten lately. But this uh, is a gaming notebook, so it doesn't really matter. You're probably not gonna be moving this around too much. Although it's not particularly large for a gaming notebook. And before we get to the computer, go through the literature. Instruction manual on Expressgate. 10% off low jack for laptops, in case you want some theft protection. Warranty, power to go disc for uh, burning media. Drivers and utilities. Recovery DVD. It's a Velcro strap or cable tie. And the user manual with a little chamois. Here's a notebook. Comes in foam. And here it is. It's got this design on it. We'll get nice and close to that. And it says Republic of Gamers. Right there, front and center. Can't miss that. It's uh, you know, high tech, very gamey. And uh, there's the system. Let's. Yep. Pretty nice looking. Good size. Uh, on the thick side, but not really heavy, especially now that the battery in. Open it up. Some protection there. Screen is covered. Without any scratches or anything like that on it. Take that off. High gloss. Everything's protected. Let's see if we can get that. Isolated keyboard. Nice mouse pad. A lot of gloss, and it is very gamey. You know, there's a chrome with some mirror accents there. Stickers all over. This is a, uh, this piece right here, the palm rest is a soft touch rubber, which is really cool. So, uh, just run down the specs real quickly on this one. We have a Q9000 quad core processor. Vista Premium. It's a 15.6 inch LED backlit display. 320 gigabyte and 320 gigabyte dual hard drives. 
DVD drive, four gigabytes of RAM. Doesn't say the graphics, but we know it's the G2, the NVIDIA GeForce 260Ms. M in there, sorry. Uh, eight second boot up with uh, ExpressGate Instant On OS. That's pretty cool. And uh, in case we didn't catch that first time around, you have a number pad right here, which is pretty awesome on a 15.6 inch display. And uh, it being 15.6 inch means it's a 16 by nine monitor in case you didn't catch that. On the bottom, we have a pretty big subwoofer. It's about two inches. Sorry about that. And then uh, not a whole lot else. There's the battery department. Going around the system, we have VGA. It's a big vent. Then we have USB, 1394, eSATA, HDMI, card reader. On the front we have a radio on off switch. That's a little vent or something like that. It's really just there for looks. Then we have our, can you catch that, audio jacks, two USB slots, DVD drive. And on the back we have, that is our Kensington lock port, the battery, Ethernet, which is, uh, sorry, another USB slot, modem, which is covered, Ethernet, and then power. So yeah, it is the Asus G51 VX Gaming Notebook. It's a budget gaming notebook. I think it goes for about $12.99 and should be a great deal for people looking to do some gaming but don't want to break the bank or uh, go with a 17 inch something, you know, notebook that's more expensive. Or if you just love Asus, then uh, it's for you. Anyway, the full review will be up on geek.com before too long, so uh, check back and uh, we'll give you the verdict on the system. This is Sal Congeloso. Thanks for watching.